just because cars killed a lot of people, he didn't ban cars, but they got together a bunch of people and decided, you know, in order to be allowed to sell a car, it has to have a seat belt in it. Mm -hmm. There are the analogous things that you can start requiring a future AI systems so that they are, are safe. And uh, w once this, have this heavy lifting, this intellectual work has been done by experts in the field, which can be done quickly, I think it's going to be quite easy to get policymakers to to see. Yeah, this is a good idea, and it's it's you know for the fight for the companies to fight Moloch, they want, and I, I believe Sam Altman has explicitly called for this. They want the regulators to actually adopt it so that their competition is going to abide by it too, right? You don't want uh, you don't want to be enacting all these principles, and then you abide by them, and then you're, there's this one little company that doesn't sign on to it and then now they can gradually overtake you mm -hmm. then the companies will get be able to sleep secure knowing that everybody's playing by the same rules so do you think it's possible to develop guardrails that keep the systems from uh from basically damaging irreparably humanity Mm -hmm. while still enabling sort of the capitalist-fueled competition between yeah. companies as they develop how to best make money with this AI. You think there's a balancing totally. that's possible? Absolutely. I mean, we've seen that in many other sectors where you've had the free market produce quite good things without uh, causing particular harm. Um, when the guardrails are there and they work, you know, Capitalism is a very effective, good way of optimizing for, for just getting the same thing done more efficiently. It's it was, just, but it was good, you know. And like in hindsight, and I've never met anyone, even even on parties way over on the right, in in, in any country who who think it was a bad thinks it was a terrible idea to ba to ban child labor, for example. Yeah, but it seems like this particular technology has gotten so good so fast, become powerful to a degree where you could see in the near term the ability to make a lot of money yeah. and to put guardrails, to develop guardrails quickly in that kind of context seems to be tricky. It's not uh, similar to cars or child labor. It seems like mm -hmm. the opportunity to make a lot of money here very quickly is right here yeah. before so us. Again, it's, there's this cliff. Yeah. It gets, gets quite the, scenic. The, the closer to the cliff that you go, yeah. the more, the more <laughs> go, the more money there is, the more gold ingots there are on the ground you can pick up yeah. or whatever. So you want to drive there very fast. But it's not in anyone's incentive that we go over the cliff. And it's not like everybody's in their own car. All the cars are connected together with a chain. Yeah. So if anyone goes over, they'll start dragging others down, the others down too. And so ultimately, it's in the selfish interests also of the people in the companies to... Uh, to uh, slow down when the when you can start seeing the contours of the cliff there in front of you, right? And the problem is that um, even though the people who are building the technology and the CEOs, they really get it, the shareholders and these other market forces, they are people who don't honestly mm -hmm. understand that the cliff is there. They usually don't. You have to get quite into the weeds to really appreciate how powerful this is and how fast. And a lot of people are even still stuck again in this idea that intelligent in this carbon chauvinism as i like to call it that you can only have our level of intelligence in humans that there's something magical about it whereas the people in the tech companies who build this stuff they all realize that intelligence is information processing of a certain kind and it really doesn't matter at all whether the information is processed by carbon atoms in neurons and brains or by silicon atoms and some technology we build.